For what's new in 2023 for e-drawings, we'll start off with a comparison between SOLIDWORKS and e-drawings. On the left, we have SOLIDWORKS 2023, and on the right, we have e-drawings 2023. New for this year is better support for appearances added in SOLIDWORKS and then used in our e-drawings models. In the continuous effort to keep the user interface the same across SOLIDWORKS products, they renamed the display styles of e-drawings to make those match those of SOLIDWORKS. E-Drawings does not have the reflection support of SOLIDWORKS, but for just viewing models, you can clearly tell that the appearance are more accurate for the viewing software. Now heading down to the bottom, we can see configurations in an option, and it will now show up even if only one configuration is in SOLIDWORKS. The measure tool for SOLIDWORKS got support for measurements with fractions and the ability to round off to the nearest fraction as well. The next enhancement for eDrawings is actually outside of the software and in the web version of the eDrawings. I'll save this file as an HTML file. It still does not require an installation. With our HTML file open, we can see that we also have a much closer resemblance to the SOLIDWORKS file that created them too. The major enhancement for eDrawings HTML is that we now have localized support for the HTML version. At this time, we have support for 15 different languages. Mobile versions of the software are always getting updated at the same time for eDrawings. Both Android and iOS got support for configurations like the exploded view of this power painter. And the views with the housing cut and removed. These new features and many more in eDrawings 2023.